Howdy fellas and fellettes. How y'all doing? I've got a coffee here. Mm, got a camera there. It is just turned 8 in the morning. It is the 23rd of April 2024. And I figured I'd talk to you guys about a few things. But before I do that, how y'all doing? You good? You great? Me? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, considering. Considering the English economy is in the toilet. Considering that not only is the English economy in the toilet, and I have been let go of my second part-time job. It just means I've got more time to devote to painting my miniatures again, streaming, things of that nature. Unfortunately, we have to give a salute to the poor little six-inch printer. She passed peacefully in the night. I'm kidding. It's got a leveling bed issue. And um, I've got to figure out what it is. So, yeah, she has been a pain in the dairy. Yes, what she's been. Yes. Oh, God, I've turned into Ringo. Hey, Paul. Hey, John. Let's, 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 let's go make some music. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that. But for some reason... She's down, and my rather big 8-inch printer is going nowhere, because as you know, the uh, FEP sheet, uh, uh, the VAT container to the screws got stripped, because for some reason, the company likes to use cheap fucking screws. This is why I say to people, if you can, replace them. It's my own fault. But I do have a replacement. Uh, it's not a direct one from Flash Forge. It's from a different company. But um, from what I've been told, it is a direct fit. So, yay. That is still on its way. Apparently it won't be here till May. Mm-hmm. May. May 21st, exactly, is what the estimated due delivery date. I'm like, I ordered this fucking thing in March. So two months? Are you fucking kidding me? Is it coming by camel? Tortoise? And what's worse is I ordered it off of Amazon. So if I go to my Amazon real quick. And I go to my. Orders. Yeah, see, now it's saying uh, f uh, free delivery by the 19th of May. Um, no, that's not what I... I um, we're going to go rounds. Yeah. We're going to go rounds. We are going to go rounds. So if we go... Track package, it hasn't even been dispatched yet. Arriving on the 21st of May. And I ordered this motherfucking thing. When did I order this? 26th of March. Can, can someone either at any cubic or 
Flash Forge. Explain to me why. Because I would really, fucking really, really like to know why it's going to take two months to get a part to me. In an industry that has a lot of fucking parts and a lot of moving fucking parts at that. Oh wait. Exactly. So now I've got to strip the machine, figure out why it's not leveling, and then I've got to start reprinting things and biggest fucking letdown in the universe. You'd think they would have a European warehouse in like somewhere like I don't know, France or Germany. You know? Or or heck even here in England. You know, in Scotland or Ireland or something like that. Or France even. You know, somewhere in Europe. But no. I'm like You're making no sense, bruh. You're making no sense, bruh. Fucking glasses. Now I've got chemical burns on my eyes. Uh, from said printer. I uh, forgot to wear my safety gloves and had an itch on one of my eyes and when I itched it, it aggravated the skin. So I've got to get some, I've got some E45 cream. I'll use some of that. That, that should help soothe uh, the irritation. Or maybe get an analgesic cream. That will help. Oh, I can see now. Got to get a haircut too. Uh, hair's getting a little bit shabby. Got to go do some shopping as well today. Um, got a package to pick up as well. Uh, so I've got to pick that up too. And it is one mail. It is raw mail. It's not parcel force. Because sometimes the parcel force letters look just like the raw mail ones. But this one is uh, raw mail. Oh, tubby shore, tubby shore, tubby shore, tubby shore, tubby shore. I don't know exactly where it is. The office. It's not that far from where I'm going out today. So, kill two birds, one stone kind of thing. I'll go pick it up. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. So I've been dealing with that stress and issues. And, uh, trying to get parts in the UK for a 3D printer that's actually worth a damn is almost impossible. And for some reason, people seem to think that their 3D printers are worth absolute batshit crazy prices on places like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Absolutely batshit crazy. Uh, what else? Going to be spring cleaning in here in the next few upcoming days. So a lot of the stuff around me is going to be bye bye. I've got some stuff I've got to ship out. I've got a care package to send to Texas. To little Frankie, to little Thomas, and to <laughs> little Junior. Uh, so I'm going to be sending that out to them. Because um, little Frankie wanted to know what candy or sweets I like here in the UK. So I bought some Harry Bow and a few other things and put them in a box. Uh, along with a couple of stuffies and whatnot. Just small things, trinkets really, for the boys, so that they, uh, 
I got something to remember me by. Um, broke up with my girlfriend. So that happened. I'm not going to go into detail, but that happened. <sighs> and so, yeah. And I'm, I've got a second phone. And it's on a different mobile phone network than my main carrier. My main carrier is, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh -huh. But this new carrier is called Honest. And uh, they've got this thing where you can just buy the SIM card and, and put and put it in, in any phone and, and whatnot. And that's what I did. I originally got the SIM card to go in a tablet that my brother got me. Because I wanted to um, put graphene on the tablet and explore the tablet because it's, it's an unlocked tablet. I was going to uh, put graphene uh, on the tablet, maybe speed it up, f throw a few little hardware mods in there, maybe a little, you know, swap out, you know, the, the ROM and, and whatnot on it and speed it up a little bit. And um, I wanted to see what you could do. Not as an everyday hack device, that would either graphene or uh, uh, Kali on the tablet with a mobile connection, um, an actual SIM connection, so I can go to uh, mobile towers. Um, and, because uh, I've got that with this, uh, this phone. Got to, no, it'll power on. See, it's telling you that it's unlocked. This device cannot get updates from Google. Yeah, it shows you Google. And then, three, two, one. Oh, look. That's not right. Oh, that's Kelly. Kelly Linux on the phone. There you go. It's Cali Hunt Cali Cali Net Hunter. And I absolutely love it. You can do rubber duckies with a phone through RFID. You can do hijacker. You can do a whole bunch of really cool things with this phone. And Okay. A couple of updates. And so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that to my other backup phone, but I'm gonna reset this one and I throw it up on Facebook Marketplace or keep it as a back actual physical backup. But the point is you can put Kelly Lennox on pretty much any fucking thing. Um I've got it on a Raspberry Pi even. No joke. I have it on a Raspberry Pi Model 3B. Uh, 4 gig? Model B? Is it 4 gig or 8 gig? I can't remember. It's one of those models. Uh, with the uh, 256 SD card. And, um, yeah, I hot swap it out with um, Bluetooth adapters. I've got a Bluetooth adapter to it. I've got a uh, Wi Fi extender adapted, uh, uh, hooked up to it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little everyday carry put in your little book bag I've also got Cali on my what was my work laptop but it's now not uh, so I'm, I'm going freelance uh, so there's that um, what else is there uh, I don't own a flipper zero because the one I did have was for work and that's why they called us into the office yesterday because they wanted us to hand back in all of our work related tools. I actually tried taking my laptop and I was like, it's my laptop I own it nice fucking try and they were like, what do you mean? I'm like this is my laptop 
I had this before I started your employ my, my my employment with you. So. And they wanted proof. So I showed them. I showed them the purchase date of 2016. My employment date with them was 2021. Can't backdate it. Nice fucking try. Yes, my laptop's from 2016. Doesn't matter. It's not playing the newest games or anything. It's just running Linux. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got a uh, 4 gig GPU on it if I need to do password cracking or whatever. Then again, I've got a GPU farm. I can have get access to if I really want a password hash crack. Yeah, so it's only a couple of cheap three gigabyte cards that I bought at CEX for like I think it was like sixty quid each. They were like sixty, sixty eight quid each, quid each. Went on there, went one, two, three, four, five, even number six. Uh, slash Nogle's number is seven, seven. And I got them. And they came. I set them up on what looks like a Bitcoin mining rig. So one of my roommates was like, you Bitcoin mining it? No, I'm not Bitcoin mining it. And power supply hooked up to to a breakout board. Uh, then that breakout board has a direct hardware line connection via USB 3. You can do it with Firewire and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's really cool. And it's run by a, a, a Raspberry Pi compute module. And... You then take all of that and I use it as a and put it part of my NAS, my network storage system, and then you run it from there. So I can use a mobile device and it's like dit, 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 dit. use this because it's NetHunter to connect to my cat, my laptop that's on the hard connected, not Wi-Fi, hard connected into my network with my GPU farm, and then use the GPU farm to hash crack passwords. So my laptop doesn't need to sweat doing that. It's not hard. Work smarter. You know? Plus I'm not outsourcing it to a different different company. And then once it's done, it's done. I've got the password and it's what I need and, and I can move on. No, I don't Bitcoin mine with I don't Bitcoin mine with them. They they're not even worth it. Um so yeah. There's that. Um what else? I also use the GPU farm to uh, render AI. I have a couple of uh, open AI packages. Um, basically, what I mean by open AI, it means that they are uh, un uh, 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 they're, they're not going to restrict you. So if I ask it to give me a recipe to make something illegal, it will give me the recipe. It won't even question, like, no, I can't do that, it's illegal. Like, um, and that's another thing, one of them uh, is integrated into my Blender, so I, I can ask that AI do tasks for me in Blender. Basic, simple tasks. Oh, fuck sake, the goddamn sunlight, you twat. Ugh. Go away. Ugh, I swear I'm a vampire. I just wanted to hiss at that stupid thing. So, yeah, um, that's what I've been doing. And, um, so I've been very, very busy, especially with uh, SSL uh, encryption levels going up. A big uh, company I was working for, well, the company I was working for, we were subcontracted to do uh, cyber security for a whole bunch of big companies. And I think it was like uh, four or five days ago, one of the big companies we were protecting got hacked. And a whole bunch of data got stolen. And the messed up thing is, they haven't even announced it and they are a british company and they have to data breaches must be announced due to the data protection uh, act and they're not following dpa laws and guidelines now i can't tell you the company because i'm under nda so is what it is same thing i can't work for another company right now i'm on a 90 day no compete but, but, I can do freelance stuff in my own time. Uh, freelance stuff as long as it's not for commercial profit. So, basically, I can, 
uh, crack certain things or, or, or practice you know honey pots and, and capture the flags and things of that nature as long as I don't get any monetary gain from it so I can't do it for bug bounties or anything like that not for 90 days which is fucking horseshit I'm sorry non-competes are horseshit and I did try to get out of it I'm not gonna lie I did try to get out of it I spent a good 25 30 45 50 minutes on the phone with my with my barrister with a lawyer here in the UK um and he's like, dude, that thing's tighter than a nun's hoo-ha. I was like, yeah. And he's a good, he's a good barrister. Do not get me wrong. This dude's a fucking amazing, amazing barrister. Commercial and commercial law and um, business law. Um, he's fucking amazing. And he was like, dude, just just write it out. Just write the ninety days out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but uh, I don't have the money to write the ninety day out, which I don't. Because that's three months of rent I've got to pay. I've only got like a month's worth of my savings. Uh, so I've got to figure out something. It's not IT related to pay my bills. So. Yeah. So that sucks. But it also gives me a lot more time to pre work on my Allison courses and careers and whatnot. And uh, yeah. And uh, I guess a big hello to all my new subscribers. You guys rock. Uh, I really do, and um, so I'm going to ask you guys, you know, normally I do the whole, I'm the one rent, ranting you guys, I want this, and I'm going to ask you guys a question, and I want you to bleep bloop it down below in the comment section, and I will um, give you my thoughts on it on the next Coffee Time cover video, and that is, the question is, okay, what do you think of non-compete contracts? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Have you ever signed one? Haven't you? Will you? Won't you? Bleep bloop it down below. And I mean, leave a, leave a comment down below. And I will address them in the next video. I'm, I mean that. I do mean that. So, this coffee's halfway done, so. Oh. Oh, that was a good gulp. That was a good gulp. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I've got to get done today. I've got to go grocery shopping. Uh, I've then got to get some men's toiletries. I'm low on my shampoo that I use. Yes, men, you use a specific shampoo. No, yes, we can use our body wash for hair shampoos, but you, no. What's wrong with you? No. I use Tresemme. I use Tresemme Green or Tresemme Blues. I use the green, the dirt, the... What was it called? deep clean or something like that because oh god it makes my hair feel amazing oh oh it makes my hair feel amazing um and i need to get me some uh not the wax paste the the bra cream basically if you're from a, a, a bloke from and anyway i just need to get some hair hair products uh and what else do i need to get uh deodorant because I, 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 I think, I'm, I don't know what it is, but I cannot use a regular spray deodorant. I have to use the gel type. I have to use the gel type. I don't know why. I just do. Every time, as you can see off the top shelf over there, I've got one, two, three, four different spray type deodorants up there. And they just don't do it for me. I'll spray it about five minutes later. Gone. This stuff, woo, I am drier than the desert, even when I'm at the gym. So like I said, I've got to get myself a new uh, roll-on. So there's that. Uh, so men's toiletries is what I've got to pick up, as well as uh, bits and pieces. I've got to pick up some breakfast sausages, because I'm English. Uh, what else? I got fresh eggs yesterday. Um... I need to get a loaf of bread. Yeah, just small things, you know. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. And, uh... I think I'll pick up some... Oh, I've got chicken breast. I've got lots of chicken breast, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I want to pick up that. Maybe some fresh veggies. Make myself a little veggie stew. No, some, some filling. Oh, no, bangers and mash. Oh, yes. Bangers. That's another question. What is your favourite go-to food? Mine. Manzi's pie and mash. 
And if I can't have Mansi's pie mash, I would have my Nan's pie mash. Or my Nan's bangers and mash. <laughs> I miss you, Nan. I do. I miss you. Sorry, guys. Still hurts. You know, I'm going to say something that's going to be a bit weird. If you have someone in your life that you love, I mean, like, ridiculously love, like your mum or your dad or your nan or your brother or your sister, yeah, call them. Call them. If they live locally, go see them. Hug them. Love them. Just life's too short, man. I don't mean that life is just way too short. And I'm kicking myself. Because I always kept saying to myself, I'll see her next week, I'll see her next week, I'll see her next week, I'll see her next week. And she's gone now. And I'll never see her again. I'm sorry guys. Even grown men cry. We do it on camera, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, my guys, my dudes, my dudettes, my friends, my family, my loved ones, you guys rock. And this coffee is done. So, coffee's done. Means the video's done. Stay safe, stay sane, stay sexy. And I'll see you in the next video.